Microsoft has just released the new Office icons for all of their applications and they look quite cool. All of the core Office icons like PowerPoint, Word, Excel, OneDrive, Outlook, you name them, have been refreshed. And at first glance, it might look like a small update or trivial, but actually they signal where design is headed in 2026 and beyond. We can learn a lot from it. So in this video, I kind of want to focus on why it's so important for us and more importantly, what we can learn from it and how we can apply it ourselves in our designs, because we want to be in the forefront of the design and we want to be in that same wave as the big companies and we want to sort of move along with the design trends. So we're going to look at two key takeaways from that in this video. Let's have a look at the article itself and see what we can spot there. Now, if we look at the design page, and this is the article where they just released it, we can already see it in a title. They sort of give it away where they are going. Fluid forms and vibrant colors. So they're going to change the shapes and they're also going to play with that color. And then how subtle refresh of Microsoft 365 signals a deeper change. And I kind of agree with that because if we scroll down here, we can see the overview of the original icons. So let's jump a little bit back in time and see how far we've come with some of the icons. We can see it going all the way back to 2001, where it was very minimal. And also the range of applications was a lot smaller. 2003, 2007 and 10, those had a very similar style, I would say. They just got complicated a little bit more. And then 2013, that was that very minimal style, that design trend, the minimalism really came up then. Then we see 2018, this was like the big overhaul when they tried to incorporate like the multiple colors, that layer design and really bring life to the icons. Then in 2023, this is sort of the giveaway already. They revamped the Outlook logo. And by just doing that Outlook logo and the rest staying sort of the same, they sort of gave away what direction they were heading. And now we can see it two years later, we can see all of the other icons from the entire core package being redesigned as well. So we've come a long way. And if we compare the logos here, we can see the word logo, for example, we can see how it's simplified. So they went from the four to the three. They narrowed it down. They made it easier to spot more contrast, easier for everyone to see. They also use that roundness. So you see those straight edges, those straight corners, everything is now rounded and that's becoming a very modern trend nowadays. They also added a little bit more depth with the gradients and the color is a bit more vibrant. So there's a, a larger color range and that really gives a boost, a punch to your designs. And here we can really see that beautiful color palette that they're using. So that's really nice. And they copied that to the other logos as well. So here we see some design progresses that they were using for the PowerPoint logo. I really like the new logo, actually. It's modern. It's fresh. I like that gradient tone. I like the color contrast that they're using. I think it's a very well chosen logo. You can also see the design iterations that they went through, which is pretty cool to see sort of behind the scenes, the thought process behind it. So what are now the key takeaways that we can take from this redesign? Well, first of all, we have the shapes and we see the shapes that form that fluidity. We go away from those straight corners and we really move into those rounded corners, that softness that brings softness to your design, less harsh corners. It also brings some fluidity and waves and momentum in the design. And that's what we'll see in the next years. We'll see that movement toward those round corners, that fluidity, that dynamism in your designs. And then secondly, we also have the vibrant colors. So you see throughout the years, we went from like dull colors sometimes to more vibrant and lively colors and also more complex, more rich colors. So that's what we want to integrate in our designs. If we look at those logos, those are very rich colors and especially that gradient. So where we see it going from a lighter part towards a darker part with that one color, that gradient spectrum, that will become super important as well. So how can we now actually replicate this in our slides? Well, you need a solid slide master where you can see that there are multiple designs that have been made with that fluidity in mind. And also you want to have that gradient color. So that vibrant color that you can simply change in one click. That is important. We want to have that flexibility, that solid design that has been designed from the foundation. And that is possible in this slide deck that I've made. So you can see, you can just customize the color in one simple click and change the entire look and feel of your slide to your brand. You also want to have a look to those designs that have been made with those rounded corners. So they really have that fluidity and motion in them. And then lastly, you want a professional slide master so you can work efficiently. You can drag and drop images multiple at a time and it will automatically fill in. And that is what a real time saver is in a template. So if you're interested in that template with hundreds of slides that have been pre-made, built on a solid slide master and not one of those fake templates that you'll see online, well, this is the one. And you can find the link in the description below if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching. Definitely let me know which icon is your favorite and how you're going to apply it and see you in the next video.